Here are the operators we need. We need a maxed out minor. And for other operators, please refer to the video description for substitutions. Please do not replace cruise with any E2 snipers, otherwise the DPS will be too high and will kill the boss first life too early and make it much more difficult. This guide completely doesn't work for the challenge mode, so please refer to this video for the guide for the challenge mode. First we deploy spot facing right, and then we deploy cruise here facing up. This place is safe because it won't be attacked by the enemies. And then we deploy miner facing down. And when we have enough DP, deploy hibiscus here facing right. And finally deploy midnight facing down. Let's pay attention to this shield guard. When the enemy is in the center of this block, we use minor skill. The timing is important. And then we deploy Gavio here facing left. If your timing is correct, Miner won't hurt the boss before his skill ends. When the boss reaches the center of this block, deploy Melantha to block the boss. Then we deploy Moose facing right in front of Spot. And then we deploy Cardigan here facing right in front of Moose. If Cardigan blocks some shield guards, she may be low HP, so we used her skill to heal her up. Here I just misclicked. When this invisible enemy is in this block, use minor skill, and then retreat cardigan, and deploy beagle to block this enemy inside minor's attack range. When enemy dies, we retreat beagle, and we also retreat minor when boss has lower than one third HP. Then we deploy lava here facing up to do some damage to help defend the front line when minor is absent. Here the enemy spawn is completely random, so we need to be flexible when using skills. The rule of thumb is, we use lava skill when there is more than one shield guard in her range, and we can also use midnight skill to do some damage to those shield guards. What we are waiting for is miner's redeployment. We deploy miner here facing down. Don't forget to use lava skill and midnight skill when you think it's necessary. After your miner gain max attack, we can optionally use Melantha skill to speed it up, but here we do not need to do so. When the boss first life is down, we retreat Melantha immediately, then we need to get prepared to use the healer skill and the healing defenders skill. When the delusion appears, we use Tibisca skill and Spot skill to heal up. And when boss is no longer invulnerable, we use minor skill. When the boss is down, we deploy cardigan here facing right to block some enemies. We keep using cardigan skill whenever she has low HP. When an invisible blade coming from the left lane, we deploy beagle to block this enemy. When Melantha is ready for redeployment, we retreat Lava and deploy Melantha here facing right to kill this assassin. Sometimes Cardigan's HP bar is blocked by enemy's HP bar. In this case, we need to manually check Cardigan's HP and use her skill when she is low HP. When Midnight blocks the enemy defender, we use Hibiscus skill to heal Midnight and activate Midnight skill to do damage. We use minor skill when it's ready. When Midnight is of low HP or Hibiscus skill ends, we use Spot skill to heal him up. Melantha is idle now, so we retreat Melantha and deploy 12F facing up to deal damage to the front line. 12F is also very tanky. When Beagle blocks this assassin, we use Beagle skill to increase her defense. In the current stage, we can just keep using Hibiscus skill to keep your operators in the front line alive. Please don't deploy any snipers or lava in this high ground yet. For example, if you deploy a cruise here like me, it will just be killed by the enemies coming onto the high ground. And actually she did nothing. We need to wait patiently until these enemies are away from this high ground. When Melantha is ready, we deploy Melantha here facing right, and then 
we can just retreat minor. After we make sure that the high ground is safe, we deploy lava here facing right to kill the enemies in the front line. The last step is to use all your skills to kill the rest of the enemies. If you cannot finish this run, I strongly recommend to replace Moose with Amir in God mode because Amir can buff all allies after she has been deployed and she also has a high DPS in E2. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. Thank you.